Alright, welcome back to New Touch Design Tutorial. And in this one we're going to look at a quick way to detect uh, in what direction uh, somebody is walking with the Kinect. So um, I've uh, just prepared two simple sketches. So the first one is uh, this with the banana. So I'm just going to simply stand up and walk right and left. So if I'm standing, the banana is just looking up. <laughs> Uh, when I walk right, it's turning to the right, and when I walk left, it is turning to the left. So now I'm standing, walking right, standing, walking left, and standing again. So now I'm sitting down, so it glitches a bit. And the other thing is uh, that we can just use a noise, and you know, you can always use noises for anything. So this could become a really cool sketch. So if I'm standing, nothing is really happening, but when I move to the right, move to the right as well. And the same if I go to the left, so we can sort of move through the noise by moving our body. Which is fun, uh, for sure. <laughs> Alright, so as usual, I'm just going to delete everything. I'm just going to leave the Kinect here. Um, so I just used the Kinect chop. And <clears throat> I didn't really change anything here. We don't. We don't really need to change anything. Uh, all we need to uh, use from this is the head. I, I would just use the head. Um, you can use any other uh, body part, really, but I think the head just makes most sense. Um, so we can just use the uh, head TX because we just need the uh, X and Y, so the left and right position. And then, really, most of the magic is happening by using a slope. So. If you now look at face stand up again and uh, now move like left and right, so you can see that the TX is going to like left and right, so like minus and plus as well. But what we really need is not the uh, X position, but uh, the, the amount of um, or like the direction that we're moving in, to, like in. Um, so I, I thought I like my first attempt was to approach this with uh, feedback, but it actually works much better with just the slope. So we can just see, okay, by moving to the right, you can see how the slope is like going up in the positive direction. If I'm going left, you can see the slope is like uh, sort of firing in the negative direction. So that's perfect. Uh, but it's also very like, as you can see, there's a lot of numbers going on. Uh, let's just filter this quite a lot so let's add a filter and set this to like point three and uh, now what we can do just for the noise sketch let's actually add the noise for first um, change the resolution maybe change the period a bit and let's slightly animate this on the z axis or z parameter and um, <clears throat> now what we want to do is we just want to move it from left to right here so let's actually just add a null here and call it PG as usual. And um, let's display that there. And uh, now we, we can just use a null here and use that on the X. You're gonna see though that this behaves a bit weirdly. This doesn't actually look very good. So what we wanna do is actually add a speed here. So we're like adding the same value to itself and not just, you know, because the, the slope is like, you know, going up and down. So like the uh, noise is like going, going crazy. So without the speed, you know, it looks like, like this. I don't, I don't really like, it doesn't feel right. So with the speed, um, it looks like you would expect it to, you know, and it moves into the direction that you wanna have it move to. So, that's because we, we don't just use this this jumping value that's just, you know, going going crazy, sometimes more, sometimes less, depending on the movement and the amount of movement. And with this with the speed we're just adding that value to itself, so so it's really like smooth. Alright, the other thing is that we wanna have three different images that we wanna switch between to like display, okay, it's standing, the person's standing, it's walking left or it's walking right. So let's add our uh, beloved banana and just put that here. And uh, let's just copy this two times. Actually, we don't need to copy it. We can just leave it as it is and add a uh, flip. 
and a transform and just flip it on the X and transform we can like rotate it by 120 or something or 140 I don't know something like this maybe move it down a bit so it's just sort of straight you know you might want to like scale it down like this I don't know oh, let's just leave it like that okay and um, then we can add a switch from from here and let's just put all of these in here so left center and right and let's just add an RGB key so we have a black background and add that in here instead okay so right now our banana is uh, looking to the right because the switch is uh, to the left because the switch is set to zero so now we can switch between them so left center right and now from the filter uh, we can create a uh, logic or like free logics um, you could of course just do this with Python so if you know some Python it's probably quite easy for you to to do but for those of you who don't uh, I'm just gonna do it with chops so we can like uh, create this logic chop three times just to determine whether we're walking left we're not walking at all or walking to the right so um, let's add a constant so we can define a threshold let's make this yeah let's call this channel fresh and then add a null here and let's set this to 0.2 and on the logic now we want to determine I want to set all of these to off when outside bounds so if it if this channel is um, not inside like not not between this first value and the second value it's just going to be zero so <clears throat> what we want to do is set the first one to minus one and the threshold and minus threshold so if it's if the value is um, like the the slope value that we're getting is outside of um, minus point I m might even want to go higher with this so we can doesn't really matter. It, what really matters is that it's like below minus point two, and um, here it's the same thing. Let's just add that in, into both of these, and um, the first one let's set that into minus. So now when we're moving uh, inside this, these values, so minus point two and point two, then uh, it's detecting basically that we are um, not moving in a way. So yeah we're just standing we're not like moving left or right and uh, let's just go ahead I don't know, change this to like five and uh, set that in here so as you can see left and right are both um, at zero right now and that's perfect because our slope is also at zero so it should be the standing one should be on and now we can just add a math and uh, let's just copy and paste this and set that in here then we can add another math from here and um, now we can just set this first math to the range of zero second one we can just leave as it is and the third one to two so um, if this is uh, if this is firing in a way so if this is like true so if we're below minus point zero uh, minus point two uh, then this is going to be one but it, we're just changing it to zero and if this is um, between like if our slope value is between minus point two and point two this is going to be one <coughs> and this, um, if it's above point two it's going to be two so then we're just adding these together and then we can just use them on the switch so I can just use this and because our value is zero right now, our uh, slope value, um, we're actually, uh, yeah, we're, we're actually looking at the center one. So the, the way, like the order here is very important. So now I'm gonna move, I'm gonna move right. And you can see the banana moves right as well. And when I go left, it's the same thing, so. Yeah, this works pretty nicely. Uh, you can you can play around with this threshold um, so this is just gonna like yeah kind of uh, determine how at what point 
uh, it, it thinks you're like standing or at what point it thinks you're like walking into one or the other direction. And uh, also play around with the filter, how much, how strong you want to have that. And um, yeah, I think that's that's about it. Of course, you can like go crazy with the with the noise. You can use any kind of image here. Uh, one idea I also had um, is that you could use like a movie file in, then a video, and then you could use like this channel to go, to change this to specify index, and then you could use this um, value to like move. Uh, through a video, so like sort of back and forth. Just make sure that your uh, video codec is set to hap Q. But like, because the, the going back part is kind of like uh, laggy, that's why I didn't share it here. All right, but uh, yeah, you can go crazy with this. Uh, most of the magic here is happening in the slope, so it's it's great to understand that job. Um, so basically, just just. Uh, detects the acceleration or speed um, of of the incoming job uh, channel value or channel <laughs> all right thanks so much for watching and uh, if you want to see more cool stuff you can go to my patreon and um, support me there and thanks so much for all the people already supporting me and uh, yeah i'll see you in the next video